Hey, Wicked Church, this is Pastor Andrew with another edition of Sermon Spark Notes. From Pitt to Prince, we uh, looked at the story of Joseph. And week one, we looked at the whole story of Joseph. And we read Genesis 37 through 50 together as a church. And then this last week, uh, we preached and taught on those passages. And uh, we did a top 10 list. And we looked at Joseph and we looked at his brothers. And we are going to look at Jacob in our sermon spark notes right now. And there's two things about Jacob that I think are very important. Two things that the story teaches us. Because one of the things that we talked about on Sunday was the story is not about a coat. The story is not about this technicolor dream coat. It gives us lessons that we can learn about the plan of God and the story of God. So two things for Jacob. One, if you remember, Jacob is, is older at this time. And I think this is what's profound and amazing because some of you might find yourselves like this or you will be shortly. You've aged, things are different, you're not as strong. This is where Jacob's at in life. And he's forced for the very first time, it says um, in chapter 43, that uh, when he sends his sons off to go by grain, he says, may you find mercy from God. And he, Jacob leans into God's mercy. And this is one of the first time he does this. If you remember his life, he got what he wanted with his birthright. He got what he wanted with his blessing. He got what he wanted with his wives, with his flocks. He even got what he wanted from God by wrestling with him. But now at the end of his age, he's looked at life and he, he's, he's a shattered man. His family is shattered. And he finally says, I'm going to trust in the mercy of God. I'm going to lean into the mercy of God. And as people of God, I think that's important. How are you leaning in to the mercy of God? And that's one thing we need to to see because when Jacob leaned into the mercy of God, when he sent his son, when he relinquished control from Benjamin, the family was restored and the plan of God unfolded. How might, again, how might you need to lean into the mercy of God? The second thing that we can learn from Jacob is this. Jacob leaned into the mercy of God And when you lean into the mercy of God, things happen. As we follow the story, we find out that this family is restored and Jacob is brought down to Egypt and he ends up blessing Pharaoh. He ends up blessing Joseph's son, his long lost son who he thought was dead. He blesses his children and then he blesses his entire family. When we are able to finally lean into the mercy of God, it helps us to bless others. And this was a teaching series that we did in the summer. How are we blessing others? And then I think um, the, the, the second thing that it does is we lean into the mercy of God. It allows us to worship God for who he is and what he's done. So again, this is what leaning into mercy does. It allows us to bless others and to worship. And so these are all things that Jacob had to learn. He had to learn to lean into God's mercy. And once he did that, he was able to bless and worship in the right ways. And so these are just a couple of things that the text shows us from Jacob. I hope you enjoyed the narrative. I hope you enjoyed the story of God, the plan of God as it unfolded in Joseph's life. And may we be a people of God that are able to just explore the text because it is the best story that has been given to us. Hope you guys have a great week. We'll talk to you soon.